Welcome to the premiere of a league of her own. How does it feel to be here this evening? It's very exciting tonight. Yeah, we filmed this over a year and a half ago, so um, almost forgot about it and it's just popped up. And yeah, just great that I could be here and represent the team because I think the rest are, yeah, over doing some World Cup or something. <laughs> what do you think this documentary means to the women's game? It's unbelievable, you know, it's just another chance that we get to tell our stories. You know, we've got incredible stories and a lot of hard work and commitment and passion over, you know, decades of women that have gone before us, you know, and the current group of girls. So to be able to, yeah, tell our stories and, you know, where we've been and, and where we want to go and where we want to take the game, yeah, it's just incredible to have, you know, the ABC back us and, and QRL. And as a player who's, who's been around for a long time and really come through those ranks, what does this personally mean to you? Well, it's just amazing, really, to think when I first started, I didn't even know that a Queensland team existed. You know, I didn't know the Jillaroos existed, um, but they were there the whole time. So now to have a platform where we can actually showcase to the world that we're here, you know, we're already doing that through NRLW and, and through the or uh, State of Origin, which hopefully goes to a, a three-game series next year. Um, I just feel very privileged and honoured to be in this position tonight where um, I get to be part of such a special event and, you know, be on the big screen. Like, I'm a footy player, so to be on the big screen is pretty cool. Um, but not only that, um, a song I wrote, She's Got Confidence, with Jess Harlan, um, also features in the doco. And it sort of has gone around full circle. We are just talking about it in the car. Um, the song was inspired from the 2021 State of Origin win. So we just finished the win and we had a, like a three-day lockdown and we thought, oh, let's just write a song about inspiring the next generation. Had no idea that, you know, the doco would have picked it up and run with it. And, yeah, I can't wait to see it um, tonight. And, yeah, it's going to be pretty special. You um, obviously feature quite prominently throughout the documentary. What was the process like to, to be part of it? Well, we had the most, the hardest working crew that I have seen, honestly. The women that were involved um, worked like 16 hour days and I only had to do a few days but they were just put so much heart and passion into it and um, I love that they knew nothing nothing about rugby league before starting the film but they just became you know so embedded and they just cared about our story so much that they went over and above so yeah to have those women um, bring to life really special stories um, yeah I was just grateful to be part of it. And finally you've mentioned those those next generations what impact do you hope this documentary can have moving forward? just hope it inspires them. Um, it's amazing. I've got um, young Jenna here tonight and she, I'm her mentor and yeah like she actually got to come and dance at the NRL grand final when we performed the song. She plays rugby league like she's just an absolutely incredible human being and like you just need to inspire you know one person at a time and not just girls boys I've got my cousin here and you know my neighbor you know I've got his son here as well and it's just becoming the norm for them seeing you know women in the spotlight and women who are strong powerful so yeah it's incredible.